at the council meeting, I told you I had a plan for taking Earth as our own. Hi guys, welcome back. Much like the preceding two episodes, Secret Invasion Episode 3 includes many big reveals and shocking twists concerning the show's plot. Gravik is creating Super Skrulls for a Secret Invasion Gravik. As a Super Skrull in the trailer for Secret Invasion, while Secret Invasion Episode 2 hinted at Gravik's experiments, Secret Invasion Episode 3 exposed the full nature of Gravik's mission. Gravik is making Super Skrulls in Secret Invasion Episode 3 as many speculated based on the DNA samples gathered by the Skrulls. Gravik, the head of the Skrull insurrection, was questioned in Episode 2 about his strategy if the Avengers became involved in their intended invasion of Earth, to which Gravik responded that he had contingencies in place. That plot was exposed in Secret Invasion Episode 3, and Gravik's response to the Avengers was to become super themselves. Now we no longer just change faces. We change powers. The villain of Secret Invasion then mentioned the Super Skrulls, indicating that he and his minions will infuse themselves with superpowers in order to confront the impending conflict with Earth's heroes once their invasion begins. While many guessed this following the Rosa Dalton disclosure in Secret Invasion Episode 2, the formal confirmation of the MCU's Super Skrulls comes as a dramatic bombshell in Secret Invasion Episode 3. Gravik already possesses Super Skrull abilities in Secret Invasion Episode 3. Gravik inspects his extremist powered hand in Secret Invasion, Episode 3. Gravik already possesses powers, which are linked to the development of the Super Skrulls in Secret Invasion, Episode 3. One of the finest sequences in Secret Invasion, Episode 3 comes from a conversation between Gravik and Talos, in which the two debate their opposing viewpoints and beliefs. Gravik mentions Gaia towards the end of the scenario, which drives Talos to respond by impaling Gravik's hand on a table. Gravik casually wrenches his hand free from the knife that is holding him to the desk. When Talos leaves, Gravik then watches as a brilliant orange power heals his wound. This power originates from Extremis, one of the DNA samples presented in the Easter egg-filled sequence in Secret Invasion Episode 2, showing which powers the Skrulls have previously obtained. This shows that Gravik has already used Rosa Dalton's gadget to endow himself with the abilities of a Super Skrull. This will very certainly have a significant impact on the second part of Secret Invasion, as it makes Gravik considerably more formidable than he was before. Talos and the Skrulls earn Nick Fury's MCU reputation. The Skrull homeworld in Talos, while not a significant surprise in the context of Secret Invasion, Talos' revelation that he and the Skrulls helped Fury climb through the ranks of power is a significant twist in the MCU's history. According to Talos, the intelligence supplied to Fury by the Skrulls under his command enabled him to become the super spy he has always been known as in the MCU. This not only recontextualizes every moment in the MCU's past in which Fury was shown to know something that others did not, but it also demonstrates the Skrulls' actual strength and what they can do due to their clandestine nature. Gravik kills Gaia in Secret Invasion Episode 3. In Secret Invasion, Emilia Clarke plays Skrull Gaia. The tension within Gaia who was divided between aiding Gravik achieve his ambitions and her allegiance to her father Talos, was foreshadowed in the first two episodes of Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion Episode 3 takes this a step further, demonstrating Gaia's active participation in informing Talos of Gravik's plot. Similarly, Secret Invasion Episode 3 detailed Gravik's developing suspicion of Gaia, to the point that he set her up and exposed her as a mole by the conclusion of the episode. Gravik just kills Gaia in the finale of Secret Invasion, Episode 3, seemingly taking off her character for forever. In earlier MCU projects, the villain would have likely imprisoned the traitor, keeping them alive for future adventures. Gravik's murder of Gaia in Secret Invasion Episode 3 is all the more terrible in light of this. Having said that, some Gaia teaser material has yet to be seen in Secret Invasion, implying that Amelia Clark would return as either Gaia, who miraculously survived, or the human host that Gaia was impersonating. Regardless, the moment was unexpected given Gaia's centrality to the Secret Invasion. Secret Invasion Episode 3 appears to confirm Rhodey is a Skrull. In a Secret Invasion, Rhodey appears as a Skrull. One of the more popular speculations from Episode 2 was that Secret Invasion's James Rhodes was a Skrull. From his callous firing of Nick Fury to the unusual, violent tendencies in Secret Invasion Episode 2 that were not previously associated with Rhodes' character, then he began to assume that a Skrull was imitating the man underneath the war machine armor. 
This appeared to be verified in Secret Invasion Episode 3, when Vera, Nick Fury's wife, called someone to request an appointment with Gravik. While not confirmed, the voice on the other end of the phone is unmistakably Rhodey. In Episode 3, Secret Invasion chooses not to completely reveal that Rhodes is a Skrull, instead providing another suggestion that this is the truth. While it is possible that the voice on the other end of the phone was not Rhodey, hints from Secret Invasion Episode 2, and the fact that the speaker sounded almost identical to the long-running MCU hero appear to be sufficient evidence that a Skrull has been impersonating an Avenger for who knows how long. Nick Fury's wife is assisting Gravik in a secret invasion. Secret Invasion's Nick Fury stands next to the character posters for Fury's wife and Gravik from the program. This segment also revealed that Fury's wife, Vera, is working with Gravik in Secret Invasion. Earlier in the episode, Fury asked his wife if she worked for Gravik, which Vera did not always deny. Vera said that Fury's absence, leaving her on Earth while he hid in space after the blip, forced her to revert to her pre-Fury self. This very likely relates to her time as a Skrull clandestine infiltrationist, implying that she is definitely working for Gravik. I became me. The me I was before you. The finale of Secret Invasion Episode 3 verified this, with Vera calling someone to arrange a meeting with Gravik. This implies that she was aware of a method to reach the rebel Skrull commander, revealing that Fury's absence caused his own wife, like Gravik, and the other rebels to lose trust in him. While it is uncertain how significant a role Vera will have in the future, this unexpected revelation will almost certainly have a significant impact on Fury's character in the second half of Secret Invasion's thrilling plot. Thanks for watching.